Ooh, shepherd's pie. Excellent choice. <laughs> Want some? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it's going cold. Mmm. Lovely. Mmm. Very nice. <laughs> oh, a bit more, Mum. I'm full to the brim. Thank you. Oh, it's a shame. I just got offered to buy you lunch. Say thank you. For? Well, you know, for putting us up. Giving us the run of the place, some more than others. Yeah, well, once she likes in driving skills, she certainly makes up for in spirit. <laughs> I won't lie, it has been interesting having a little one around again. Yeah, well, you know, it's been a long time since I was her age. And even then... I wasn't around as much as I could have been. Yeah. Anyway, you letting us redo the decor? It's nice. Andrew's really into that liking your own space thing. Well, she certainly has plenty of that. Now she's got her feet under the table in our country estate. And you wonder why she feels unwelcome, Mum? Of course she's welcome. Yeah, well, I doubt we'll be staying too long, so... We have acres of room. After all the years apart, it might be nice, all of us, rattling around. Sorry, but I don't think it's what Andrea wants, so... And what Andrea wants... So what does Kim know about how you looked out for Jamie? I gave her his number and a vague idea of what it meant to go and study, but that's all. I am sorry I cut you off. I know you cared. A lot. He had no-one else. Yeah, and thanks to you, he had me. Mm, a gold digger. What? Grafting in grotty bars, standing in the rain, handing out leaflets for some events company. I did everything I could to keep this family afloat. And look where it got you. No, things haven't turned out how either of us expected. But Jamie's doing well. He's happy. We all are. Yes. Yes, I can see that. We shared a lot of secrets over that bar, Graham. What's one more? I guess no one else needs to know. Need to know what exactly? You're not being very forthcoming. So, why don't we do it like a murder mystery? Consider the evidence. Kim. OK. What's confusing me is how two people who've only just met could be whispering in corners already. We haven't just met. Ah. One point to me. I used to work for Graham. Oh. Interesting. And we haven't crossed paths. You were in prison. So, what services were you providing? <laughs> I knew it. Hooker. No. He paid me to look after Jamie, make sure he was OK while you were banged up. That was your job. I told you to watch him. He hated us both, remember? You've lied to me all this time. How could I do it? He wouldn't let me near him. You try harder! This was the next best thing. She was the best you could come up with. Oh, give me a break. This shines a whole new light on your perfect marriage. It changes nothing. And Jamie knows all this, does he? That you lied your way into his life. I didn't lie. I just... Withheld the truth. Yeah. Same thing. I was right. Money-grabbing parasite. I don't want your money. I'm not sad and desperate like you, and neither's Jamie, thank God. Andrea, don't. Oh, Andrea, do. You may have hoodwinked my son, but it's all very clear to me. You tricked him into having your kid. I know I could end up chained to a cow like you. I'd have run a mile. Andrea! Just go. I'll deal with this. You won't think what you want. I love him. And he loves me. We're a family. Now I understand a bargain basement lack of taste. Where the hell did you find her? Andrea worked in a bar I, um, I used to frequent. Huh. 
So there she was, surrounded by shiny optics. And you were that plastered, you thought, oh, yeah, she looks a trustworthy sort. I've told you. It was either that or we'd lose touch with Jeremy completely. <laughs> so how long did she fleece you before she switched to fleecing my son? Six months, maybe less. When she stopped calling, I, um, stopped her payment. Because she got herself a better meal ticket. By then, I genuinely believed she loved him. Oh, you old romantic. It is possible to fall in love with someone without an agenda. When you know they're set to inherit a fortune. Oh, wake up. I understand you have your doubts, but I believe her. You should too. Most mothers would want to see their son happy. Don't you dare. He means everything. I'm the one looking out for him here. He's been taken for a ride. They have a child who loves her, it's obvious. 